Hello, today we're going to take a look at how to set up VPN on iOS 8 via an iPhone, an iPod Touch, or even an iPad. So we're going to take a look how to set it up on multiple settings here, one being the manual configuration and another option being that of an application. And we're going to talk a little bit about the advantages and disadvantages of that. So to do it manually, the first thing you want to do is go into your settings application on iOS and you want to scroll to you see general, you want to click on general and scroll to the very bottom where you'll see VPN. This will show you any profiles that you have currently set up and the ability to add configurations. So if you want to add a VPN configuration, you simply tap on add VPN configuration and you have three options to choose from. You have L2, TP, PPTP, and IPsec. Now, if you want to choose between these, you simply tap on them and you can configure it. So for example, IPsec, you have your Cisco login, you can easily put that in. Now you would go ahead and input in whatever fields are needed to so the description, uh, server, account, and password, and you can see which ones are required. You can also do uh, specific things, like if you have a secret key, if you want to adjust your proxies, you can go down below and set that to manual, auto, or off. And you can tell it to send all traffic or turn that off by simply tapping on that as needed. Now again, for PPTP, you have things like encryption level, which you can adjust, whether that's auto, maximum, or none. And you have IPsec, again, your Cisco login, you can use a certificate, group name, etc. Everything that's required will be highlighted and anything that you, for example, like a password you want asked every time you need to log in, you can input that as well. Now, these are all manual configurations. So if you have your own VPN server to connect to or configure, you can easily input the account details as needed. Now, as far as advantages and disadvantages of this goes, if you want to connect a specific way, a manual method of connecting, this is the best way to do it. You can input the connection method. You can input everything you want. You can control every aspect of your login. As far as disadvantages goes or a con, every time you want to change anything, any info, every time you want to change a server or whatever it may be, you're going to have to go in through and reconfigure your settings, which can be a hassle versus having it automated and, and just do a simple change. You have to go in and input all your details again. Again, whether it's L2TP or PPTP, you have to go through this detail, add a new configuration, change it, so on and so forth. So that can be a disadvantage within itself. Now that all said and done, let's go ahead and take a look at how to do it via an application. Now, if you're using a service like PureVPN or many other services out there like TunnelBear, et cetera, you have the ability to go into the app store and look at their apps that they have, third-party apps that you can install. So for example, PureVPN, if I go into and search it, you'll find that they have their own default applications that you can go ahead and find and install if you use their service. Now I'm gonna go ahead and open the Peer VPN application here so you can see how easy the interface is. You can see if you have an account or you don't have an account, you can simply choose to put in your information. So from here, you would log in with your credentials and then you can go ahead and go into the app interface. You can see now that I'm logged into the application, I have my plan here, it shows it my limits. In this case, it's a free plan. I also have the ability to see my IP address, my current location in Japan, and I can choose a server that I want to VPN through. So you can see here, I can choose my connection method, be it PPTP or L2TP, choose a server location, in this case, United States, and then it's going to ask me to save my credentials. So I'd go ahead and put my login again and have my credentials saved here. And getting back to the advantages and disadvantages, with an application, you can see here the credentials have automatically been saved. So now I don't need to really worry about those login details and anything anytime I want to change servers. I simply just tap on what I want to change here. Now, the first time you install uh, something like, or use a service like your Pure VPN, for example, it's going to ask you to install a profile. So you would follow the instructions here. And you're going to go ahead and set up a profile. In this case, I already have my profile good to go. You're going to install it and then use your login and then enable VPN here so that you can go ahead and start VPN tunneling through Peer VPN. Again, other apps have their own instructions, so you just follow along here and you'll be good to go. Now that I have the profile installed, you can see here it's under my VPN menu here. And if I want to just hit that little slider at the top, it's going to go ahead and try to connect and ask me for my login details. So this menu should appear asking you for your name and password. So you're going to want to go ahead and input that as well and log in. And just like that, after you input your VPN details and login, it will log you in and you will now be tunneling through the United States or whatever server you selected through the application. This makes it super easy to select your servers and now you can go ahead and get any geo-restricted websites, stream any services that may be locked out of your country, and it's that simple. So again, to recap with the application, it is super simple as far as advantages go because you simply just can hit connect or disconnect within the app. You can change servers, you can change your location all from a simple menu versus having to manually go in and put your description, input your server, 
uh, input any manual settings. So it takes care of all of that for you and you simply just have to hit that connect and disconnect button and make sure that your login details are saved and you're good to go. So that's how you set up VPN within iOS 8 along with the disadvantages and advantages as far as manual configuration and the third party application goes. Thanks for watching. This video was presented by vpnpick.com. Visit us for more VPN reviews and tips for better securing your data online.